Welcome to What's Cooking in the Library. Today we are going to make baked caramel corn. So first we have to pop some popcorn. So we're going to pop, we're going to put a half a cup of popcorn in our popcorn maker here and just pop the popcorn. Okay, pop the popcorn. We want three quarts of popcorn. So we're going to measure out three quarts. We're going to put it in a big bowl. You want to make sure that you don't get any of the unpopped kernels. Okay. So there's our three cups of popcorn. We're going to just set that to the side now. Okay. So in order to make the caramel, we're going to use a half a cup of butter. Put it in a pan. We're going to melt that butter first. All right, our butter's melted. We're going to add one cup of packed brown sugar, a quarter cup of carol syrup. and a half teaspoon of salt. Stir that till it's all mixed, and then we're gonna bring it to a boil, stirring it the entire time, stirring it constantly. So I'm cooking this over uh, medium heat until it boils. Okay, it's now come to a boil. I'm gonna stop stirring it and we're gonna set a timer for five minutes. I'm gonna just let that boil for five minutes without stirring. Okay, at the end of five minutes, right there, we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Need to take it off the burner. We're gonna add a half teaspoon of vanilla. makes it a little bit kind of foams up a little bit when you add the soda and the vanilla. Now we're just going to pour it over the top of the three quarts of popcorn. Mix that all together. not to make too much of a mess like I am doing. So I'm going to mix that to where it covers the, all the popcorn kernels. take a cookie sheet. I'm just going to spread that onto the cookie sheet. We're going to bake it in a 250 degree oven for one hour. We're going to stop it every, pull it out every 15 minutes and stir it. So 250 degrees for one hour, stirring every 15 minutes. 
go ahead and put it in the oven. 250 degrees. Stir it in 15 minutes. All right, it's been 15 minutes. We're gonna pull it out. Just stir it. This is always interesting, trying not to make a mess. Just wanna kinda of turn it to where it's... to where the stuff on the bottom is on the top. We're gonna put it back in the oven for another 15 minutes and then do the same thing. Been another 15 minutes we're gonna just pull it out stir it again Put it in for another 15. All right, it's been another 15, so we're at 45 minutes now. This is our last stir. Stir it one more time, and we'll put it back in for our last 15 minutes. done. I'm just going to pull it out here. Now, there's a couple of alternative ways that you can make this uh, to make it a little fancier. I like it just plain like this, but um, you can add nuts to it, peanuts, pecans, walnut, you know, whatever. I don't know about walnuts, but pecans, um, almonds. You can add those before you cook it. Add it with a popcorn and cook it. That's really good, adding nuts. But there's also, you can also make it more fancy by adding, make it like um, mousse munch popcorn by melting a cup of, well, like a half a cup of chocolate chips and you just drizzle it over, over the top and then let it firm up and set up. And then you have really good chocolate covered, um, chocolate drizzled popcorn, caramel popcorn. So there's a couple of different ways that you can um, make this. So, but I like it just plain this way. Just let it cool off. Or I'm gonna put this, put it in a bowl right here. And we just let it cool off and it's really, really good. So really, really good baked caramel corn. So enjoy making it.